good morning, Miss Golden Girl here, the Traveler. Happy Valentine's Day. This is my hat bag. And the last few days I've been listening to this song, Any Place I Hang My Hat is Home. Lawrenceville, Georgia is my home presently, but I'm on an eight-year plan, and I'm looking for where I want to get an apartment in the next eight years, so I'm on the road. I'm checking different places out. Where do I want to spend my golden years, age 80 and afterwards? So I've got this eight-year plan looking for that special place. But while I look for that special place, any place I hang my hat is my home. So let's check out some of my hats. Hold on. I'm going to share with you the story behind some of my hats. Due to my lifestyle, my personal items are limited. I have decluttered, but there are certain things that I held on to. Now, these are my most recent hats. I bought them in 2023. This hat right here, well, I guess they both was complimenting some of my swimwear last year. As you well know, last year I focused on swimwear. I was a swimsuit model. This year I'm focusing on sleepwear. Now this hat right here, Alaska. I bought this hat in Anchorage, Alaska, in 2011, I did a work assignment there in Anchorage that spring summer season before going on to Hawaii. This blue hat, I like it. I can't remember the story behind it, but this hat right here, I remember. I purchased this hat from Cracker Barrel. And my friend Cheryl, she bought me this black and white sweater, which I still have. And at that time, I was en route going to explore the eastern part of the United States and going over into Canada, Nova Scotia, Canada. I picked my friend Shirley Riley up in Kalamazoo, and we drove over 3,000 miles going to Maine, going all up into Canada, the eastern part of Canada, Maine, Vermont. I had already been to Vermont, but I wanted um, Shirley to have the state of Vermont to her. We visited Niagara Falls, it was an awesome time. Now this hat right here, oh, this hat has some history for me. This is an inheritance. Um, my father passed in 1993. And so he always wanted me to have a fur coat, but I'm short. So what I bought with some of my inheritance in 1993, 
I bought a leather coat, beautiful leather leather coat. I paid twelve hundred dollars for that coat. It had fur around the collar, and if I recall, around the sleeves. And I bought this hat to go along with my coat. So I've had this hat since 1993, and I wear this hat in the winter time. Oh, this hat did serve me well in Vermont, the year I went to Vermont. Oh, it was so cold there. My first ski resort <laughs> working at. Now, these two hats here, I purchased them in Hawaii, my second trip to Hawaii, when I went in 2024, and when I invited family and friends to come and share that awesome month-long journey. Each week, I had different guests to come in and to share that opportunity with me of spending a month in a condo, I rented a condo in Hawaii, in Coalina, and I just had a wonderful time. I didn't have to worry about working. I was a tourist for the full time. The first time when I went to Hawaii in 2011, rented this condo and shared it with five other ladies, which gave Shirley and I the opportunity to find housing and employment during that time. So then I, in 2011, uh, I stayed in Hawaii for seven months, and Shirley still lives in Hawaii. <laughs> this hat here, I bought it in maybe... 2021 this is my patriotic hat so when we went to pearl harbor in hawaii in 2022 i wore my hat this hat here is my jean cap and i just like it <laughs> i've had it for a few years and this is another hat i got this hat from cracker barrel also and this is my hat bag that i keep them in i purchased this bag as a souvenir um, when i went to washington dc and i was doing some tourist events attractions and going to uh, Martin Luther King statue there was one of my tourist events and they had a, a souvenir store there and I have a dream today I'm a dreamer I'm a planner so I've got this eight-year plan and I am traveling around checking out different locations as a possibility for me to spend my golden years and beyond in. I'm currently here in Nashville exploring it. And Nashville is nice. I guess it could be a possibility that uh, I could one day possibly get an apartment here, but it's sort of low on the list. But it's on the list. I'm traveling around. We'll see how this list goes over the next eight years till I'm age 80. But these are my hats. And as I shared with you, been listening to this song, where I hang my hat is my home. And what that means to me is 
as I travel over the next eight years. Wherever I stop, I am of a, adaptable and I plan to make it my home, my temporary home. Yes, Lawrenceville, Georgia is my home right now. I got to be back there on April 1st for some medical appointments, April 1st and then April 8th. I do my dental and my vision medical appointments in Michigan. I'm due there on March 18th. I've got an eye doctor appointment and a dental appointment in Michigan. So I'm a roamer. <laughs> I'm a traveler. I'm a gypsy. Where I lay my hat, that's my home. <laughs> so you take care. And again, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed my hat story. My hat collection. See how adaptable I am? All the hats right here fit in my hat bag. And then these two hats, they don't. So uh, you've seen them in the car packed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. Until later. God bless. Bye. This is my black and white sweater that my friend Cheryl Brown purchased for me. I think it was October 2013. I was preparing to go to Niagara Falls and to visit all the, go all, drive all the way up and to Nova Scotia, Canada, visiting the east side of the United States, the east coast, way up there, Maine. <laughs> I'm a traveler, y'all.